Mount Juliet police say a mother did not know an 18 year old man was living in her attic and would come down into her 14 year old daughter's room at night. Unknown to the mother, I've been living in the attic, only coming down into the room of the mother's 14 year old daughter at night. Daddy monster and mommy monster, they hurt us, they hit us, they lay on us constantly when we're sleeping. She called me and said somebody was in the house, so I called the cops and they came in and searched and nobody was here. Who or what is inside this house? Whoa, that, that was hers. We moved here August 4th. When we moved in, I've called the cops twice, thinking somebody's in here. We just started hearing voices and things moving, doors opening. A friend of mine was here and she was cleaning. She was up in the bedroom and she called me and said somebody was in the house. So I called the cops and they came in and searched and nobody was here. She wouldn't ever come back. My daughter sees them, my youngest daughter. I have three and they all have things happening to them. My son has dreams that somebody slits his throat. So I came home and we all sat down and when we came home, the TV was on and it was blaring. It was really loud, so I was like, okay. So me and the kids sat down and when I left, the TV wasn't on. I heard somebody upstairs in this little bedroom up here, the little blue bedroom. And they were like, oh man, she can hear us, she can hear us. TV's off, TV's off, we better run. And I heard him run up into the attic. So I grabbed all three of my kids. They were all three asleep and I took them out to the car. And I came back in and I grabbed a couple of knives out of the kitchen and I called 911. I kind of just stood right here in the foyer until cops came and they searched the place. There was nobody up there. We come back in and we slept down in the living room that night. We left here the 26th of last month. I was sitting right here on the couch. A little shadow figure with some kids and then like big blue orbs floating. My dog was going nuts for like two hours. I got stuck, I couldn't move. About 6.30 in the morning, my daughter started screaming, crying, my three-year-old. So she come down the steps and come over to me and she says, mom, mother monster, mother monster, she's hurting me. And as soon as I pulled her close to me, I felt someone grab her arm and her legs and just start pulling her away from me. Run him down to the car and we left. We haven't really been back since other than during like the day. We have not been here at night. Mm-mm. You know, because nighttime is mainly when it happens. She'll be like, Mom, there's a baby crying. And she'll point like up towards the attic saying there's babies up there crying. Daddy monster and mommy monster, they hurt us. She says they hit us, they lay on us and go like this and beat us constantly when we're sleeping. They told me that there was a serial killer here. They gave me names. They give me ways they've died. They give me like events. My son has dreams of different ways that he's died. I found a bone in the backyard. Shadow figures floating around. Things messing with my kids while we're sleeping. I had security cameras in here. And what they do is they'll stand in front of the security camera like you can't see through them. They usually turn them off about two o'clock in the morning and they come back on about four or five but you can see like fingers in front of the security cameras. And crazy, I haven't slept at night in a long time. I try to cat nap during the day to get sleep, but. What's your fear? My kids getting hurt. Knowing my kids are getting hurt, I can't help them. I've done staged, I've done blessing things, and I feel like they're trapped. It's scary, it's scary as hell here at night. I hear a man and a woman talk, and that's all I've heard talk. Like I hear full-fledged footsteps. Down in the basement one night, I kept hearing these people talk, and he was like, what the F am I supposed to do now? And I'm like, I don't care what you do, just get out of my basement. 
I thought they were just people that came in, so I just locked the basement. And we just recently moved in, so I didn't know if people were like in there or something. And they have a dream that it's an old man with red hair, the boy that used to live here. I talked to him and his mom that used to rent this place, and he has this, he had the same dreams with the same man. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. The man killed him with red hair, and he was old with red hair. And has anybody been physically touched, hurt, anything like that? My kids. I have bruises sometimes. My kids get bruises. My Leah says that they hurt us. One thing here that protects us from whatever evil is in here. When they go to say things, when I ask them questions and stuff, they shut up. They won't talk at all. They just, they, get, they go silent and they'll look around. They can't say nothing. They're not allowed to say things. Because I told my daughter that I'm your mom. You're allowed to talk to me. I will protect you and this and that. And she'll come up and she'll whisper it in my ear. Like, I don't feel like I'm a parent in this house. I just feel like I'm here. I had this one Ohio investigator here and he was, um, he got in a car wreck on his way here. Like, got into Zanesville, got in a car wreck, went to the hospital and had to leave and couldn't come back because every time somebody tries to help, they get hurt. This room in here is the first room that I heard him. There's a lot of spirits here. They've got to be coming in one way or another. I was sleeping in that room one night and I could hear a guy running. He's like, I'm going to run my runs for the night. So he come up running up the steps and I sat up in bed to see who it was. And he stopped at the top of the steps and turned around and went back down. You'll hear things come from the attic down. I'm not going in the attic. You guys can. I thought people were squatting in there and I thought maybe they were coming in and hiding back there. So I screwed it shut, but there's nobody up there. I'll tell you, this house has got like a very conjuring house vibe. The upstairs is like crazy creepy. So up here is where a lot of the kids have been affected. And it seems like whatever's in this house, of course the parents here, but the youngest kids, it seems to be affecting. These bedrooms are like a little creepy. So I'm on the second floor right now. Right now I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for the house before it gets completely dark out. And you gotta think, this family literally left this house almost a month ago and have not been back inside this house because whatever is inside this house is affecting this family so bad. Scaring the children, hurting the children, scaring the mother to where she's had to call the police because she thought somebody broke into her house. So we need to figure out tonight who or what is inside this house and why are they affecting this family? That attic gives me like the creeps and there's no way I'm going up there by myself right now. I mean, that's the first thing when I came upstairs and was over by this attic. I immediately thought conjuring. Hello? Did you hit something up there? I almost want to leave a camera up here while we're setting stuff up. like a piece of furniture moved. This upstairs is so creepy, like I'm afraid to investigate right now. sit here for a second. I want to be close to the stairs because if something happens, I want to be able to get the hell out of this house. Who did I hear talking?
We're going to be here tonight to talk to you, to find out why you're here, why you're affecting this family. Okay, I'm going to go out with Rocky and Sean. I'm going to leave some toys and stuff up here and let this record and see if we get any audio or if anything happens. You set the alarm off again? Are you upstairs? Set it off if you're upstairs. Were you in here? Holy I swear I just seen a dark shadow run across there. You stay up here? You set this device off beside me? I mean, you've been setting it off. If you're up here, make it light up for me. You tell me your name? What do you want with this family? <sighs> so uneasy to breathe up here. You just can't get, get your breath. I was hearing a voice or something. Is that you that I heard? Thank you. Make it stop. Thank you. You make that noise go off if you're a demon? I got a camera down here, so if the door slams, I definitely feel like I need to open it. So let's do that. I just heard something. Okay. So as you can tell, this is a tight fit up here. But I don't know, this door right here. Are anybody in there? And it's screwed shut. If anybody's up here, can you set that alarm off? Oh yeah, alarms everywhere. Hello? I'm Sean. What's your name? Did you once live here at this house? How was that? That was fucking loud. Was that you? Well, I heard you. What's up with these hot places? What the f was that? Holy f That was f loud. Are you baby crying? Holy f I'm I am alone in this freaking house right now.
Jump steps. Oh, fucking Lauren. I know I should fucking chase it, but fucking after that. Holy crap, I don't want to fucking move. The voice has stopped. But them freaking voices, holy Are you setting off one of my alarms? Can you do it again? Right now I'm trying to figure out where these fucking voices came from. So I'm going down to the basement. <gasps> alarm going off again. Are you setting my alarm off? Turn this light on. Can you do that again for me? Where are you at? <laughs> Can't make that out. Go back and check that. Wait, me. It's time. Time for what? I couldn't. What's your name? The previous owner that lived here for 15 years said that you tormented her family too, is that true? Why are you trying to scare this family? Didn't sleep on the whole baby. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Holy that was so loud. <laughs> Them fucking footsteps was so loud. Idea. You know. Is that you? I keep hearing. I heard jail. Yeah, it's creepy. How long have you been here? What do you mean, babies? What do you mean about babies? Did a child die here? Where at? Upstairs? Was it upstairs in a bedroom? Something just freaking touched my face. Did you just touch me? Was that you that just touched me? I want to see you. Said you are dead. Well, I want to see you again. Holy crap, I got like chills going down my back right now. That sounded like it was right fucking behind me. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus gonna be coming into this house tonight. You do not control me or nobody else. Jesus controls us all. We live for Jesus. Jesus. 
It's like speaking a different language now. Speak English. English. Why is this? Why did it go to speak in a different language? Right after it said Jesus, it started speaking a different language on here. Do something. I want to hear you again. I've heard you talk. I've heard you. Sure is talking about God and Jesus a lot. Hit something. What the hell? Maybe something just touched my frickin'. Did you just touch me? Push this door. Whoever we heard upstairs earlier, come down here with us. The family said that they hear children upstairs. And there's a man and a woman. If you're upstairs, set one of our alarms off. So right now we're doing an EMF sweep of the house just to see if we get any spikes. I will say from being throughout the house during the day, the second floor in the attic feel the most uncomfortable. Right now we're getting zero spikes. Are you in the basement? Same time the alarm's going off, I'm getting a huge spike. I'm up to four now. Are you in this room? And what's weird is that alarm will go off when you're downstairs or out of this room. But like when I was coming in this room, the alarm would shut off. I'd go back down the stairs and the alarm would go off again. And it's quite a bit colder in this room. Almost five degrees. Where are you at right now? We're going to be here with you tonight. We're here to help this family. Who is the man that they've experienced? Are you here walking? It's registering warmer in this room, but it's not actually, it doesn't feel warmer, does it? No, I thought it felt cooler when I walked in here. See, we've been upstairs and the alarm hasn't went off. Well, we'll see if we get anything from it. Okay. It's old. It looks old. It is old. I actually, I found a sidewalk that was buried with gravel back there and I was unburying it and it came out somewhere through there. Okay, we'll see what we get from it. I'll leave, when, I, when we leave, I'll just leave it sitting there on the counter. Okay. Sean, let's test this bone. Right. See, the minute you come downstairs, the alarm goes off. So this is the bone that Elizabeth found in the backyard. Not quite for sure if it's human bones or not. She did contact law enforcement. They said they don't want anything to do with it. We're gonna use that as a trigger object tonight. See if it'll set that off, any of the alarms off. Do you know where that bone came from? Who is the redheaded old man that the kids see inside this house? Walk over to that bone. 
and set one of our alarms off and let us know that you're inside this house. She did say when it gets dark, nobody likes to be here, so. I feel like once it gets dark out, it gets like super creepy here. And we have alarms and cameras and everything all over this house, so this entire house is covered. And definitely the second floor in the attic, I feel the creepiest. I think everybody's gotten that feeling. He set the alarm off upstairs again. Come downstairs with us. We want to know who you are and why you're here. Does that mean you're down here with us? If you're the one scaring these kids, threatening these kids, we're gonna get rid of you tonight. We think that you're a bad spirit. You can set that alarm off for yes to answer our questions. If you're inside this house, set that alarm off. getting dark out. The family says you come The family says you come out when it gets dark out. You don't have the eye. You have the light on. What the hell was that? What was it? It was a uh... It looked like a ball of light just went straight through there. I don't know. I just seen it like shoot across the chair by the fire truck oh, like man. it was going into the kitchen. I got cold chills. I've already seen a huge dark shadow. Here? Yeah. Massive. What? On that staircase. Oh, I was wow. looking down that staircase. Is that you that I seen? Mm-hmm. Did you see it? It goes right across that fire truck, like that chair to the kitchen. It's probably like this. Yeah, it was pretty huge. It like that fire truck. It looked like a fire truck. Okay, anytime that you want to say yes to any of our questions, set that alarm off. Are there multiple spirits inside this house? Is there a serial killer inside this house? Sounds upstairs. It's not like walking and yeah. somebody talking. It was upstairs. Come forward and talk to us. Are you the one affecting the children inside this house? Is there somebody in the attic? Can you tell me what your name is? Bone downstairs, is that human? It's bright. Why you wait until it gets dark? When the sun goes down, are you gonna come out and talk to us? Are you one messing with the kids? Hey Josh, why not, we'll set this at the top of the stairs right here, and we'll go back down, and we'll ask questions to see if it... Not recently. I don't remember the last thing I asked you. Set my alarm back off. Did 
you feel that on your feet? It's recessed. Come stand right here where I'm standing. Was it like a vibration or it's something? It's like electric shock vibration. What'd you just say? I want to find out how smart you are. Can you say one of our names? I'm going to explain it with my legs. Whoa, what the heck was that? I don't know, I heard it. It was this, I think it was this piece of plastic. It was like something stepped on it or something. I heard something like click. Yeah, it was this freaking plastic right here beside me. It felt like my legs were like weak. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I was getting like a vibration and like electric shock. Was you messing with Josh? We go to homes all over to talk to spirits and the dead. I want to know why you're messing with this family. Did you just hear that? That's fing loud. Stroke. Do you have a stroke? Curse. Where are you at? Do something. Let us know where you're at. We're going to be here all night. You're not going to scare us like you did the family. Girls room. What? Girls room. Kill. What is that? Killed. Who'd you kill? Are you a serial killer? Did you kill somebody at this house? Yes or no? Was you doomed? I can't hear her. Close. Whoa, no, downstairs. Is there somebody in that basement? Scratch. Set that alarm off upstairs. So it's getting pretty close to being dark. Let's grab my phone, set it over with the bone. Look. Are you over by the bone again? Set my phone over there, set one of these cameras up to record, and let's walk outside and let it get a little darker. Check that GoPro upstairs in the attic. You unscrewed steps. that. You unscrewed that light. I hole. unscrewed that light. There ain't no way that light would have came back on. Yeah, we have video. You would have to screw in. Hopefully, the GoPro caught it.
there, right there where that right. came off. Right there. Watch yourself, bro. So it was like that piece of paper flew off that shelf there. Holy Okay, let's go. My heart's racing. That's crazy, that light bulb is unscrewed and it came on. Oh, I'm saying there ain't no way it can screw itself back on. You think I should put a camera face in that? Yeah, and then we'll put one um, face on um, my phone up here. Okay, guys, so this light bulb in here, this is the second time that we've unscrewed it and that light came on. So I've got a camera face in it. I've got a GoPro face in the alarm and stuff. Something walking upstairs, the alarm went off, and there was just a loud bang. I do have cameras up there recording right now in the attic and in the girl's bedroom. I got alarms up there. No way. It's not even dark yet, and this house is already active. You set that alarm off again. As I came up here, the alarm stopped. When I was setting up this GoPro, I heard something walking up here and the alarm went off. If you're up there, walk away from it. Holy crap. I got chills right now. We're going to talk to you, okay? Find out what you are. Who you are. Well, uh, okay, hold on. Lights on. Josh Harris? Mm-hmm. Whoa! What the hell was that? What do you think? Just somewhere over here. Oh, we said you right there, Josh. Sorry. Okay, set it on that table right there. Rituals. Screen. Him. Come here. Help. Stop it. Please. Kitchen. Okay, I'm up here in the house by myself. Hello? I've got that bone up here that was found in the backyard. Can you roll that back to me? Do you not like having us up here? I want you to come forward and communicate with me. I'm inside your house calling you a coward. I'm calling you out. You tell the kids not to speak, not to talk about you. 
Come on, I'm here by myself. Do something. That was loud. What else can you do? Dude, I swear to God, I keep seeing. Hit something again. We heard a man up here earlier. Walking. Who is walking out there? Come inside this room. Set one of my alarms off. Walk up to that alarm if you're out in that hallway. Is that all you can do is communicate with children? However long I've been up here, the alarms behind me have not went off. The minute I go downstairs, I guarantee these freaking alarms go off. That attic is like super, super, super scary. So I'm going to send Sean up to the attic. My ass ain't going up there. Who is upstairs with me right now? Up here, there's a man, a woman, and they've heard children. Who's walking? I once lived here. Oh, no freaking way. I once lived here. Is the man, is he holding the other? Josh. No way. Holy Is the bad spirit inside this house holding you back? Badly. Badly. He's holding them back. You do not have to listen to the bad spirit. I can help you. Angry. Who's angry? I do not care if I'm pissing you off. You are affecting children. You are hurting children. You are scaring children. I'm not here to be friends with you. I'm here to help the family. And to get you the hell out of this house. Wendy. Who's Wendy? Holy shit, look. It said Wendy and it pulled up a map. Close that at it because it is so creepy up there okay like up here there's like nowhere to um you have a room here room here hallway there attic there so you come from anywhere haunted haunted why are you inside this house any of the good spirits inside this house my question is not directed towards you the evil spirit inside this house that controls everything. You're the one I'm coming for. Clark. Clark. Is that your name, Clark? Are you the red-headed guy that the kids see? Cold spot right here. Holy f Clark. I can feel you. It is like super cold right here. Clark, set off one of my alarms. Edith. Edith. Oh, and there's a man and a woman here. Clark and Edith. They hear a man and a woman up here talking. People have heard you inside this house without any equipment. Alarms going I off. Saw. Alarms going off. Oh, no way. <gasps> them. Them. I said, who is that? It said them. Well, I've never seen. 
that alarm go off that much and it is freezing cold right here I used to live here <gasps> I used to live here again dude I mean like the temperature inside this house has dropped dramatically did you kill somebody on this property inside this house Helen Helen is that whose bones I have upstairs Helen I have never seen the SP7 go off like that before I just reset it. Need trust. You need trust? You want me to trust you? How can I trust you when you're attacking kids? Hurting kids, scaring kids. Does that sound like somebody that can be trusted? Footsteps. Footsteps. We have heard footsteps. Were those your footsteps that we heard? Creepy. Keep saying creepy. What is creepy? I'm no longer upstairs. No freaking way. The minute I came down here, that freaking alarm would go off. Worship. Worship. I'm going to send Sean upstairs. Emotion. I'm telling you, the minute I go upstairs... Have memories. Have memories. Yeah, so right now the alarm in the attic is going off. I am not going up to the attic. Who is setting the alarm off in the attic? Now that attic is like super, super, super creepy. Who's in the attic? Is that you, Clark? Come on, Clark. Electric. Electric. Oh, earlier I felt the uh, electric shock right in front of the attic door. Okay, I've got to charge, change some of these camera batteries. And I'm going to... It keeps saying, Helen. Helen, are you in this house? Did somebody hurt you? Helen? Helen, come out and talk to me, please. Are you trying to get me to the attic? If you're trying to get me to the attic, I'm not going to the attic. Sean's coming to the Mabel. attic. Mabel. That's crazy, because we're getting a lot of names up here. Hello? Hey, you got. You can come in. Okay. All right. All right. We'll send Sean's ass to the attic. Just don't go to your left because there's like a slick spot. Hello, Josh. Josh, something's fucking moving. Oh God, move, go. What the f is it? There's something moving right there. Hello? Who are you? <gasps> A male voice. Who the hell's down here? Come out. Who's over there? Okay, let's take you to the attic. Good luck. Yep. Josh just left the house. Him and Rocky's out in the van. And I'm up in the attic. Can't say I wanted to really set up here. Because the feeling you get up here is not good. heard something sound like a knock but me and Josh we was just down in the basement and uh, heard a Mel's voice down there scared the living crap out of me who's messed with Elizabeth and the kids 
If you're here, set this alarm off in front of me. Come on, I know you're in this house. Why does Josh keep talking about a serial killer? I know you like to mess with the alarm up here. Whoa. I just heard something on the steps. Holy crap, this freaking crap scares the out of me. There's only one way out. That's down them steps. Thing is, you go downstairs and this freaking alarm will go off. Whoa! What the hell was that? Something just freaking like laughed at me. Thing is, you go downstairs and this freaking alarm will go off. Whoa! Whoa! Who's laughing at me? Oh, I didn't like that. It's never good when a ghost laughs at you. I think I start talking so much because it like, I don't know if I really want to hear it. Especially don't want that creepy laugh again. Come on, you can pick on kids. You can pick on Elizabeth. Can you tell me when you died? Walking. Holy sh**. Did you kill somebody? Did you kill somebody? What the f was that? Holy sh Was that you? That was so fing loud. That was freaking downstairs. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of this attic. The thing is, I can barely freaking move up here. I can not even hardly stand up, so I don't feel comfortable. And I already had something freaking laugh at me. I don't know what the hell that noise was I just heard. Okay, I don't know if this bedroom's any safer, but for some reason, I'm gonna call this my safe space. I don't know why I feel safe in here compared to the rest of this house, but the crap I just heard up in the attic is telling me to stay the hell out of that attic for now. Okay, I got alarms set up everywhere. Now I'm out of the attic. Do you Guardian. Want Guardian? Is there a guardian in this room? Make me feel safe? I'm gonna call this my safe room. You can't hurt me in here. But I can hear you outside this room. I know you're here. I keep hearing you. Are you a murderer? Are you a killer? Lights. I'm not turning no lights on. I feel like something just freaking touched me on my neck. Did you just touch me? Today. Oh my god. I just heard something in that freaking closet. One of them. If you're by one of closed, let's open the door. Elizabeth, come play. No f***ing way. It just said Elizabeth, come. It just said Elizabeth, come play. Whole f Do you want Elizabeth back in this house? Is that what you want? Come on, yes or no? You know, when you got Elizabeth in here, all you do is scare the crap out of her. She don't even feel like it's her home anymore. Is that what you're trying to do? Trying to get her to leave? There's kids in this house. 
Neil, leave him alone. Look for body. Look for a body where? Holy f Okay, this is getting freaking really intense now, guys. Where do you want me to look for a body at? Okay. I don't know, but I, I think I've had about enough. I'm going to get Josh in here on this one. Because I'm, like, scared of to walk around the rest of this house. Especially if there is a freaking body somewhere. Come on, Josh. Answer your freaking phone. I just heard something freaking downstairs. Why ain't he answering his phone? Rocky. Hey, you freak are not gonna believe this. Uh, I freaking came, I left the attic, came in the girls' room. I'm like scared right now. It goes, it came across on the ghost tube and it, go, it goes, Elizabeth, come play. And then what really freaking got me, I started asking about it being a murderer and, and it said, find, find the body. I'm hearing downstairs big time but I'm kind of scared to leave this room because up in the attic something freaking laughed at me well somebody come in here just so I can go downstairs okay all right come and then me and you will take the uh, thermal camera on the property okay I'm not leaving this room Okay, bye. No. Yeah, they don't f***ing understand. What the f*** was that? Freaking criminy, stop for a minute. F it, I've been here since I came in here. Dude, that voice as I just heard right before you guys came in was so clear. You want to talk to me some more? Where's the body at? Come on, murderer. I told you, Elizabeth ain't gonna come back here if you're gonna keep treating her like that. Are you supposed to find your body? But what was weird, the, the other voices right before you guys came up, I swear it sounded like a woman and kids. Where are you at? And it hasn't set one alarm off, Josh, at all. But that freaking laugh up in the attic, you want to talk, it goes, ha ha ha. I was like, what the hell was that? Okay, let's leave Rocky and then we'll go do that. Do you stay in this room? You can walk up there and light the lights up for yes and no. Yes. Did you die in this room? Were you a child? Are you downstairs? Did you kill somebody in here? Did you die in this room? Huh? Did you die in this house? Do you want to hurt this family? Are you the man with the red hair? Is your body buried on this property? No. Do you show yourself to the little girl? Yes. Are you the male figure the child sees? Yes. Do you like the family? That you out in the hallway out here? Is your body back?
back by the ledge in the woods. Somebody kill you in the backyard. So Rocky's upstairs right now, running the echo box. Sean and I are gonna do a sweep on the property. Back here's where they found the bones. Come out of the woods so we can see you. Were those your bones that were found out here? If we walk up to that woods, don't let me fall off that cliff, okay? Yep, we're stop. Holy It's cool. Don't freaking leave me. Holy See where we're going. Don't go too much farther. Stop. That sounded big. Is this where you want us to dig? Is that you? I want to see you. Sounds like something's behind you. If you're out here, show yourself. I got a heat signature by the house. Oh, something just pulled my shirt. What the hell was that? You're touching it. Are you here with us? Watch for Satan. Watch for Satan. Where's he at? Is there a body out here? Are we close to the body? Do you want Elizabeth to come out here and dig for something? Whoa. Did you hear that big thump? Mm -hmm. Was that you? Leave. Leave. Do you want us to leave the property? Finish. Finish. And then leave. Yep. Okay, let's do the cleansing. Okay. Stop recording. Stop recording. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that you watch over the three of us during this cleansing and keep us safe and don't allow anything to attach itself to us. Any spirits that may be inside this house or on this property, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command that you leave this house, you leave this property, and you leave this family alone. We cover this house in the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits inside this house, we command that you leave. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house. We seal this bed with the holy water. In the name of Jesus Christ, you must leave this house to fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark places for the evil ones to hide. We banish you in the name of Jesus Christ. We seal this attic, the sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who has authority over this house and over this property. We sow this threshold, this stairwell. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been open inside this house and on this property. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command that you leave. You will no longer affect this family. You will no longer hurt these children. You will no longer communicate with these children. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We seal this room with the blood of Jesus Christ. 
It is Jesus who has authority over this house. We cast you out of this house. You will no longer hurt these children. You no longer affect this family. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, leave. We banish you. This house is forever covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay, so Rocky and Sean's gonna continue to finish the cleansing inside the house. I'm gonna come back here on the back side of the property where they found the bones and say a prayer. Whoever's bones were found out here in the backyard, we want you to go be at peace. We seal this property with the holy water. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who holds power over this property and this house now. Lord, we pray that you cleanse this house, cleanse this property, drive away all the spirits that dwell here. Let them go be at peace. Let them face their judgment, however that may be. Leave this house, leave this property, leave this family alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we pray all these things in his name. Amen.